Hey guys, XC Schnick here, and today I'm going to be showing you guys how to install the floating, the floating ruins mod for Minecraft 1.5.1. If the if Minecraft is updated and it's above Minecraft 1.5.1, the installation process process should be the same. If it's not, make sure you guys comment down below and tell me so I can remake the video and post it again. If the installation process is different. Okay, so the first thing you guys are gonna, gonna want to do is click on the first link in the description. It should take you to Rizagami's mods, then scroll down until you see mod loader 1.5.1. Just download that by clicking on add fly or direct download. Next thing you're going to want to do is click on the second link in the description, which should take you to Daft PVS mods. And there you're going to want to download the, the core. So just click on all releases here um, and select the, the micro version you're currently on. I'm just going to select this. This is the newest one. So you have to wait 5 seconds because most of you are familiar with ad, ad fly. We wait 5 seconds and you click skip ad and it downloads. Now, we're also going to need to download the floating ruins mod as well. So, um, just scroll down until you see. Th th this one is for the Minecraft client, this one is a Forge, so if you're using the Forge one, click latest release here, and if you're using the Minecraft client, click latest release here. So I'm using the Minecraft client, so just click on this, and it's the same thing, wait 5 seconds, and click skip add. So, wait 5 seconds, then you click skip add, and it down, skip add, and it downloads the floating ruins mod. But I've but I've already got the core mod loader and floating ruins, so you should have three files all, all together. Now we're gonna need to install it. So the first thing you, you guys are wanna gonna want to do is click on the start, then in the search bar type in percent app app data percent, then click on roaming. Oh, and then open up dot Minecraft bin, and then Minecraft dot char. So the first thing you guys want to gonna want to do is delete meta inf right here because if you don't delete it, your Minecraft will crash. You're also and you also might want to download a program called WinRAR. I'll possibly put a link in the description, or or, or you can just Google WinRAR download and download WinRAR. Um. Also, what once? Oh, oh I, sh I shouldn't turn this off. <laughs> We're gonna need this. So then open up mod loader. How am I gonna select all these files? No. Okay. Once you open up mod loader, select all the files from mod loader and drag them into Minecraft.jar. So you've done that. Open open up the core. Why is there a mod? <laughs> Ignore that. Um there we go. Just open up the core and drag in all the files from the core to Minecraft.jar. There we go. Then open up the floating ruins mod. And Drag another files from there into Minecraft.jar. Go and now it, the mod is installed. And before you close the video, you guys might want to know because I'm going to show you guys how how to actually find the floating runes, as they can sometimes be hard to find, especially if you're in creative mode. So I'm going to just launch Minecraft. Oh, should, prob pro should pro probably have Optifine installed, but. Okay, so I'm just gonna create a brand new world. For loading ruins. Go. Let's just. I put. I possibly should have set it to creative. But on survival, it's also quite easy to find them because they spawn everywhere, pretty much. If you know one trick. So. Yeah. Okay. I'm gonna open to LAN, then game mode. C. Okay, I'm on cre. I should be on creative now. Hmm. I hope the game doesn't randomly crash. All right. So if you guys want to find a lot of floating ruins, what you might want to do is fly quite close t to the ground now. Okay, I see the world is just loading up right now, and that might explain why there's quite quite a bit of lag. Oh, 
God's sake. I'm trying to record a video of Minecraft. What the hell are the settings on? Okay. So I'm going to also show you guys how, how the floating runes look. <laughs> now if, it, if you fly quite close to the ground, they should spawn quite often. Um, and this mod is actually really interesting because there's tr treasure inside the floating runes. Yeah, we'll possibly find a few in the desert. But we need to fly quite close to the ground. And that's what I noticed when I installed this mod. And I try to find the floating runes. You need to cry. Okay, I'm having a I'm having a little bit of trouble finding one of these. I did say like these can be quite quite hard to find sometimes, so don't go mad if you can't find one of these. Like in like the first I don't know maybe five minutes. Now, oh, there we there we go and. Oh, it's also a bit of water. It's very nice. This is this is a floating rune. Oh, this is I've actually n never found a desert one. This is really cool. Okay, I believe there's blazes inside here. There we go. So there's a blaze spawner, and the spawners. Um, I think there can be anything inside them. So oh, there we go. We found some loot, and there is and there's always a chest here, which is very nice. And you, you, I think you get random loot as well. And chainmail, you can't craft it, so and I think I think it's a pretty good armor as well. So I don't really need it because I'm creative, but I can order the boots. There we go. So this is the floating ruins mod, guys. If you have, if this has helped you, um, make sure to to give this video a like and maybe even a favorite. And if you guys want to stay updated with my videos, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I've been Xy Schneck, and I'll see you guys next time. Bye.